Hi everyone, it's your boy Moses here. I hope you are doing great. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you are, you know, staying home and keeping yourselves and your family safe. Uh, I pray that God will keep protecting you and, you know, taking care of you. It's been a difficult season, but I know God is going to, you know, see us through this moment. I just want to use this opportunity to come here and encourage you and as well share one or two things with you. So today I'm just going to go straight away. I'm um, showing you what my synth brass patch is like. Uh, if you are a keyboard player, if you're a music director, if you're a, a producer, a mixing engineer, you know what a synth brass is. And uh, one of the ways to achieve rich synth saint brass is what i just want to show you guys today and so let's dig into it i'm going to be demonstrating this in logic pro x which is my preferred way of music production it's like my favorite daw and uh the plugins that i'm going to be using uh to demonstrate these uh third party plugins and one stock logic plugin so if you have um studio one um Pro Tools, Ableton Live, LFL Studio, whatever it is that you have, as long as you have access to um, these third-party plugins and, you know, another plugin that you can use, or another plugin you can use to emulate what I'm achieving, you can as well do that. And uh, it's all about the, the method and, of course, the sound design part of it that can get you where you need to be. So what's the secret to this thing? To get a really nice synth brass. All you need to do is just make sure you layer and design some nice synth brass. If you design some nice synth brass yourself and you layer them and stack them together, you're going to be achieving really, really nice sound. So this is what I have right here. And it sounds like this. <laughs> I know that sounds really, really nice, uh, but how do we get here? How do we achieve this kind of sound? It's really, really simple. Let's get into it. My first sound here is Omnisphere. I'm using Omnisphere and I'm running Omnisphere uh, in a multi-output. In Logic Pro, we have what we call the multi-output. So what that simply means is that I can load up several instances of sound inside of Omnisphere itself. Let me show you that real quick. Now we're in Omnisphere right now. And what do we have inside of Omnisphere? We have six different sounds inside of Omnisphere. And this is what it sounds like. So this is just Omnisphere on its own, Omnisphere without any other sound. And I have, on the first channel, I have Juicy Brass, I have the Triumph Horns, I have the Analog Octophonics, uh, we also have the classic Roland Synth Brass 1, we also have the OB8 Brass Love, we also have the Octave Money. All of this sound, I didn't just layer them together just because I want to just keep layering them. I check them out one after the other. Uh, we can go through them quickly. The first one sounds this way. You see what that sounds like? On its own, it's sound, sounding really nice. And then we had in another one. You can see what that is adding to add some body and some warmth to it. The next one. Again, more body. Now it's getting heavy. And the last one. That's what the last one sounds like on its own. And all together we have that. Let's go to the next sound. And as well, a uh, quick one. I am using an EQ on this to kind of just cut out the low hand. Uh, sorry, the mid, the low mid in this uh, region, this 230 region. It's sounding so muddy. 
uh, without that place, you, without the EQ. It's sounding bright, sounding muddy. I need to clean it up just a little bit. Clean it up. Bring back my low mid uh, cut off. Uh, just a simple EQ. Now the next sound is the Juno 106. If you use the Roland Cloud stuff, the Juno 106 is a popular synthesizer that a lot of musicians used way back. That's what the Juno 106 sounds like on its own. Really amazing. So when you load up the Juno 106, this is what is showing right now, but this is my own patch. And I designed this patch from the preset called uh, SY Antrax. So this SY Antrax is the as, as a preset for you. And uh, all you can do is just, you know, tweak it and, you know, sound design, mess up with the parameters. And it's going to give you great results. You can look through my setting and, you know, this is what the Antrax on its own sound like. All right, that's the that's the one that comes with the VST, and uh, this is my own design. So you see the transition. I know you feel like this doesn't sound like a brass. Yeah, I really know, but you see the difference when we match it up uh, with the Omnisphere right now. Now you can really hear this the Juno 106 properly. Why? Because it's giving it a feel, not really for you to hear. Now, if I want you to listen to the tail of this thing, when I play and I take off my hand, listen to what is happening after. Can you hear that? That is because of the Juno 106. If I take out the Juno 106, you won't hear that. You hear that now? Yeah. So I don't need it to be too loud. I just need it to be subtle and be there. It creates a feel, not just the volume and the loudness. Now let's go quickly to the to the last one. And again, after the plugin, I'm just compressing using the basic logic compressor. And I'm just what's it doing? It's just compressing some uh you know signal over here. The last But not the least, actually, second to the last, is the JX3P. So the JX3P, what I'm doing, of so of course, it's also from the Roland Cloud stuff. This is what it sounds like on its own. I know it sounds so dry. I don't need it to be reverberating. I just want something in your face. I already have some reverb going on inside of Omnisphere. Just a little bit of reverb going on inside of those Omnisphere sounds. All right, uh, how did I get into this patch? This patch is coming from the Synth Brass uh, 2 inside of this preset for this VST. And of course, again, this is not a sound design class. Uh, tweak the parameters, tweak the setting to achieve the sound you're looking for. And you'll be here. So let's go to the Synth Brass 2. This is the original Synth Brass 2, original Synth Brass 2 right here. That's what it sounds like. You see that? And let's go to my own uh, sound. Of course, go to look at the setting, post the video. Uh, you might be able to, of course, tweak it to get the same thing. It's a VST. It's nothing special. And now the last one. Is the vintage B3. Now, I know you're wondering, why do you have a vintage B3 organ? And you be talking about a synth brass patch. Yeah, the reason why I am adding, it's a preference thing. The reason why I'm adding B3 is just because B3 has this feel that no other instrument can give you. And again, I'm not adding the B3 for you to hear the B3. I'm adding the B3 to just give you some body. Now, let's hear what the B3 sounds like on its own. You see that? Mm. 
Now you won't really hear this inside of the brass when it's going on, but it's just giving it something. It's all in the detail, the little, little things, the subtle things that come together to give you a good sound. If everybody, if you want to be able to distinctively hear the B3, then it's not really longer a synth brass patch anymore because now we can really hear the organ crying out of it. But I need the organ to be there to just give it that, that vintage vibe that no other instrument can create except a B3, all right? And what am I doing in the B3? Again, I've tweaked a lot of parameters in this B3 just to suit my own setting. If you go through this thing, it's not going to sound like your regular B3 uh, when you just load up Logic. So there's several factory preset, uh, presets here. Just pick one and tweak it and you'll be you like it. To again, like I said, to your taste. <laughs> And the modulation wheel is always something you can always go into to create more more vibe and you know uh, get some harmonics out of your instrument what you can really create by yourself and then just turn on the modulation wheel and you oh you find out that it's actually giving you something but what the modulation wheel is doing for this organ is just controlling the rotors uh controlling uh, all of these volume controls in the organ that is just controlling the frequencies you can see that it's draw the drawbars are just coming down uh bringing down all of those high ends and if i take it down again you take those high ends off and you have the low end information Right. Uh the next one is uh yeah, that is actually the last one. All right, yeah, so let's see how all of them sound together. Okay, so let's uh, play a loop along and just feel what we're doing. Uh, let's go. <laughs> I can stay, I can stay the whole day just enjoying myself and jamming to the brass patch. Uh, I hope you've learned something in this video. If you have, give it a like, uh, 
you know, comment below what your own settings would be or what would you, uh, what would you have done differently? Let's communicate, let's share ideas together. And if you think this video is helpful, subscribe to the channel, share the video and, uh, you know, let's just spread love in this season and help each other to grow while we are staying home and staying safe. Again, always make sure you're washing your hand and sanitizing yourself as much as you can. Please take good care of yourself. If you don't have any reason to go out just stay in the till the health of issues in your area sales too so please take care of yourself and i hope to see you in the next video uh enjoy yourself and of course let's just jam as we're leaving let's go